Hey, this is Andrew Guy. Welcome back. We were talking about the properties of an experimental design, and we're going to do a sample for you. To recap, we said we're going to look at three different objects. Okay? How we designed our experiment is this. We said we're going to look at three different things. One, we're going to look at A, B, and C. We're going to look at a plant. We're going to look at hair, and we're going to look at a football player. First thing we want to do is observe. So we're going to look at the plant in its natural habitat. We're in, this is the rainforest, and to be short, we're just going to put RF. We're going to put RF. So we're looking at the plant in the rainforest, and it was thriving. Everything was going well. But something happened. We took the plant, and we uprooted it, and we brought it and put it in the desert. Something strange happened. So now we got to observe again. Our question we got to generate from that is this. We got to say now, what happens when I remove a plant from the rainforest and put it in the desert. That's my question. What's going to happen when I move this plant from its natural habitat and put it in the desert? Okay? Two things may happen. Some people will say, well, it will die. Some people will say that the leaves will quilter. Some people will say, well, it won't survive. But our question is, why did it happen? So we can do an experiment to find out what will happen when I move the plant from a natural habitat and put it in the, rain, in the, um, the desert. What we're doing right now, we're generating our question because we did an observation before. We looked at the plant and then we observe it and then we're going to generate a question. We generated our question and this is the question we came up with. Now, can we turn this into a hypothesis? Yes, we can. We need to turn this into a hypothesis by making it into a statement. One of two things. We can say removing a plant from its natural habitat will cause the plant to live or thrive better or produce more fruit. Or we can say, removing a plant from its natural habitat will cause the plant to die. When we make that statement, we have to go back and test it to prove that what we said is going to happen yes or it's going to happen no. So we're trying to prove it. That's the experimental part of the experiment. So I know my O. Oh, I've already observed. So now I'm going to remove that. I've already observed. So now I'm going to ask myself a question. This is my question. I've already done that. So now I'm going to move up here and then I form my hypothesis. Okay? Now, my hypothesis is going to be, as we stated before, yes or no, it will happen. So we're going to say yes. We got to choose one. So yes, a plant will die when removed from its habitat. Okay? So that's what we're going to say. we got to prove that. Now where are we taking the plant from? The rainforest. Where are we putting it? The desert. Now let's say for example you don't have the money to travel to the desert. What can we do to replicate that? Well, simply. We can actually put the plant down on a concrete where there's no soil, where you cannot get any nutrients whatsoever, okay? And then we can replicate that. In science, what we can do, if we don't have that actual equipment or we're not in that location, we can replicate that location to suit or to fit what we're trying to test, okay? Or to fit the conditions that we're trying to test, all right? So now, we have a question, we have a hypothesis, now, after we have a hypothesis now, then we need to make sure we're going to do the experiment, the actual thing that we said we're going to do to prove that this will happen. Once we do that, there's several things that we can do. As I mentioned, 
we can do what? Now I'm going to erase this. I'm going to erase my question because I already know what it is. So I can do one thing. Experiment E. I can do it. Put the plant on the concrete, right? So I'm going to draw like a concrete right here. And then I can put my plant. This is the roots of the plant. And then I can just have my plant laying there just like that on the concrete. And then I'm going to put the sun. The sun is still there shining. There is no earth. There is no soil right in here. So that's basically where I'm going to rest my plant. Okay? So we saw it in the natural habitat, in the rainforest, and now it's on the concrete. Now we have it on the concrete. Okay? So I'm going to put that here. All right? Now, i got to watch it and see what happens. So what I need to do is, in my experiment, I need to have trials. Trials. How many times I'm going to do this? Because that's going to help me to generate my data. Okay? So let's say we did it five times. So two, three, four, five. We did it five times. We have to make sure that when we do it, we're actually concerned about how long we leave it in the sun, what time of day we did it. So all these things brings us to one specific thing. Variables variables or things or condition that changes the outcome of what we're trying to do. That's what a variable is, okay? So if we have trial one, I'm just going to put T1, let's erase that, and then put T1, T2, T3, T4, and T5. All these would be my trials that I do for my experiment. Once I finish that experiment, that leads me to my A. So I have my A right here. This is where I analyze. Okay, I can analyze this on a computer. That's my keyboard right there. Great keyboard. This is an awesome computer. They haven't designed these ones yet. Okay, these computers are just awesome. You haven't come out with these as yet. That's it right there. Nice big antenna right there. Okay, that's my computer right there. I know you like that. Okay, don't laugh. So that's my computer right here. So I'm going to analyze my results on my computer. Okay? And then after that, I'm going to print out my information down here so I can go back and review the data. So look at it. That's for example, we talked about it. So my O is going to be my observation. Then I generated my question. And then after I generated my question, I went and turned that into a hypothesis. Then after I did the hypothesis, I went and set up the conditions to meet or to answer this question or to prove my hypothesis. And these, this is the experiment. So I have five trials that I'm going to do. All right? After I do this, I got to come back and analyze it. I'm going to put all of this into the computer, and the computer is going to work with the numbers, calculate the numbers a little faster than I'm able to do on my fingers or on the calculator. And then after I finish that, I have to come up with a conclusion. After I finish all of this, now I come up with my conclusion. My conclusion is going to say yes or no. My conclusion in this case, I'm going to say yes or no. Yes. My hypothesis is correct, or no, my hypothesis is incorrect. If your hypothesis is correct, then that means you're saying that if I remove a plant from the desert and put it, I mean, from the rainforest and put it in the desert, then it's going to thrive. Okay? Now, the other one will say, well, no, it doesn't happen. If you remove a plant from the rainforest, natural habitat, and put it in the desert, then it's going to die. So those are the two outcomes I can get, one or two. When your conclusion, once you come up with your conclusion, then you have to communicate your results. That's the fun part, or the not so fun part, because this is where the real work happens. Now you have to carefully and critically explain your process. You have to explain the materials you use. You have to explain everything that you do and your method that you use to carry out the experiment. Once you finish that, then you type that up into one or two things. One, you can be a research paper, or you can just do a report about what you did. Okay? So let's recap. First, we say, oh heck. Oh heck. Tell it. Remember, O, question mark, H for hypothesis, E for experiment, A for analysis, C for conclusion, and the last part, tell it. How are we going to tell it? Two ways, a report or research paper. Okay? So that's that one that we talked about for our um, plant.